Now I'm going to show you another embroidery technique. This is called the chain stitch. Um, it looks very elegant and it's really easy to do. So what I've done is my thread is the same way as we had it before, where I doubled under and then poked that through so I have four individual threads that I'm sewing with. If you do have embroidery floss, I would recommend to use that also, but this is a great technique if you're just using normal sewing thread. We already have our thread poking out from underneath our fabric. Then what we're going to do is insert our needle through the same hole and then out again one stitch length later. And as our needle is still resting here in the fabric, I'm just going to take the, my thread that is hanging out and wrap that around the needle point. When I pull tight, what it does is make that chain-like pattern. I'm poking my needle through the original hole, poking it out one stitch length over, wrapping my thread over the needle, and pulling it tight. So what's great about this is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to outline my whole flower here to get a cool 3D detail on it. You can go ahead and do the same at home with your own patterns, or you can even use this stitch to write something out, to spell it out and do some calligraphy. It's a great stitch because it's literally just sewing along the line that you choose. It's also a very common used stitch, so now that you know how to do it, you'll start seeing it everywhere. Go ahead and play around with that, and I've got one more pillow tutorial coming your way. I've got my basic pillow cover and my pillow form and all of my stencil supplies. Now we just need to figure out how to use all that stencil supplies. Are you having problems? I'm here to help. <laughs>